Hey, 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 I don't never need no nigga, no dysfunctional ass raggedy gang nigga to vouch or stab me or nothing, nigga. You feel me? Because to keep it real, who gave me my motherfucking power over the motherfucking black niggas is the motherfucking Southern Mexicans, bitch. The motherfucking Mexican Mafia. You feel me? Nigga, you want to know, nigga, how motherfucking official I am? Nigga, I move like them motherfuckers. That's who put me on, bitch. Now what? So when you faggot ass niggas was tripping on the yard, nigga, when it was a problem and I was pressing my line, I really didn't have to, nigga. I was getting the motherfucking Mexican Mafia that issue. So, bitch, they would come up to me, nigga, and be like, "We do we got to blast one of these fools? Yeah. What if I told you, nigga, uh, the nigga, a conspiracy? That really ain't conspiracy. See, when these Mexicans be getting off on niggas on the yard and you see one nigga get hit, it's really because they, they really wanted one nigga. They didn't even want y'all niggas. You see, that's how they move, bud. You playing with their money, they gonna tear your ass up. Nigga, you fuck up their yard, they gonna tear... Nigga, psh. Hey, so let's get into the story now. Let's establish the fact that I was moving way for the, for, the, for the Mexicans, man. You know what I'm saying? Bound by honor and shit. How I tapped in with them niggas on some family shit, and they don't even fuck with niggas, though. You feel me? So, bam, they only fuck with me because I was as violent as them, nigga, and I deal with you niggas just like they deal with they people, nigga. So they allowed me to bust my motherfucking moves and get my money and feed my family. Who my family? Nigga, it was my motherfucking mama and shit, nigga, and my kids. So my hood rat ass baby mamas, make sure you tell them, nigga, while I was in the pen, nigga, you know what I'm saying? And them LeBrons cost 200 and the outfits another 200 Hey, I sent that shit home, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers never fuck with me unless I pay them. So let's let's get to that. Now tell me talking all this big shit online about did I nigga you live with your mama? Nigga and mom did nigga bruh. The other half with me was my mama, nigga. See, me and my mom had a different relationship than you bitches. Because me and my mom was moving away for the motherfucking Mexicans getting money. So when you talk about nigga motherfuckers using motherfuckers, nigga, I was paying my mama allowance on the streets. And then I went to prison and stepped pay, taking care of my mama. You know what I'm talking about, Tammy? Can you say that? Oh, I was taking care of my You the caretaker, bitch. You feel me? You signed up for a caretaker to take care of my mom when she got sick. And the mama mom died, nigga, because she called you for help, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Scammy Tammy, the book dropping. You feel me? I just been bullshit because Tammy so fucked, man. We got so many stories on Tammy doing fuck shit. We keep adding shit. So now she keep getting on my line, harassing and stalking me and shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Trolling online and shit. Nigga, oh, you did this to mom. You did, nigga. Let's get to the point, nigga. I was moving packs in prison, nigga. And me and my mom was doing our thing. So, bam. My mom the one who moving the money for me. Bitch. You was leeching off my mama. You the reason my mama stole 10K from me. See, yeah. See, we had so much money in the accounts. I was just like, mom, put the money up. Put the money up. Put the money up. Now, every time I told my mom to put some money up or move some money, I told her, take, bust your 250 out. Get you two. That was my mama allowance from when I was trapping with you niggas on the street to when I got in. Get your motherfucking 250 out. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? When I was balling on the streets, I ain't touch ones, I ain't touch fives, I ain't touch tens, nigga. I left them on the table for the bitches. See what I'm saying? So I always left my mama a table full of money and shit. I was in the streets moving and grooving, but nigga, you feel me? Putting their life in somewhat of a si fucked up situation. You feel me? I admit that I was wrong. But nah, nigga, when you come to, we're talking about, nigga, our positions in our family, nigga, I, me and my mama got money together. Me and my mama seen bands. Not just was I fucking with rich bitches, but I was making power moves, nigga. So I had a higher level of respect and understanding with my mom than you kitty bitches did. Bagging all the goddamn time. Fucking with broke niggas taking care of them off my mama died. Yeah, nigga. So, bitch, let's get this shit correct, bitch, because I seen you talking all that shit online, bitch. But one thing I always leave out my story is, hey, my mama was cool with the Mexicans, too, nigga. She was like family to them niggas, too. You see what I'm saying? When you fucking with the Mexicans, that money got to be direct, on point, and all the whole shit. They don't play them fucking games, nigga. So, all that shit you put on my mama, bitch, my mama was highly respectable. My mom moved high, moved at a high level. Nigga, they respected her. So, bam, mom still 10000 from me, nigga, while I'm in the pen. But I really wasn't, like, tripping off the 10, though. 
So anything Tammy talking about, oh, you took mom, mom car, mom did this or mom did that for you. Mom owed me, bitch, and couldn't pay me back ever. You bitches don't got bands like that. You live with, uh, live off the state. So cut this shit out. Let's get to the motherfucking story then, man. You feel me, bam? You know, I'm moving so much money, man. This is right around where I'm like, Psh. you got to have a point to where you're going to get out the game, man. One thing that me, me and the Mexicans sat down and said was, Cody, you hella cool, bro, because you not like us. We married to this shit. It ain't, it's, it's, it's blood in, blood out with them. Nigga. Now, me, <laughs> shit, I'm going to make a half a million and quit. Shout out to my nigga motherfucking Spinny B from Fruit Ridge. That's where we got it in. That's why I love that nigga. That's why I love that Fruit Ridge nigga. He can have anything for me. That nigga helped me run my operation. Now, that nigga's goal was way lower than mine. But I said, bro, I'm, hey, what you stopping at? He like, bro, I'm finna go home in a few months, man. You know what I'm saying? Shh, man, I'm good for about 50000 I was like, nigga, psh, you crazy, bitch. I'm going for 100 He was like, nigga, he was like, psh, do your thing then. See? So, bam, we in there getting money like that. I'm sending my mom money home. Niggas know. Anybody know me, nigga? I had them Kanye wet. I had the motherfucking red Octobers. I had everything, nigga. I was balling. I really took care of the hood. Nigga, if you hit the line, ask bitch ass J Boy, nigga. But that nigga didn't have nobody. He was crying. His man wife left him. Uh, nigga, PH wasn't doing nothing for him. He was hating no niggas. Mentioning their name, blood. I had to buy that nigga shoes and pants and drawers and shit, or he was in that hand me down shit. I gave him a TV. Nigga, I was balling, just taking care of my people like you were supposed to. Not because, oh, he's trying to buy niggas. That's what I heard. They said I was trying to buy niggas. No, nigga. That's just how you operate as a man, nigga, with an operation, nigga. You take care of your people from your, where they, where you from, nigga, period, point blank. Let's get to that. So if all you niggas know me from being a money man, how this bitch over here talking to me because I kept around my business? That's the fact. We keep, my nigga, one thing mama always told me about your hating ass. Hey, this bitch be hating on you, nigga. Don't tell her nothing. And she be, the nigga, the type of bitch Tammy was, is my, see my mama do something to me and extort her and force her to, you owe me. That's Tammy's hype. My, nigga, I bought a house. My mama bought me some furniture and Tammy felt like my mama owed her the same 7000 she bought me. My mom didn't help me buy a house. My mom couldn't help me after she, so every time, when I got out, my mom was like, I know I owe you that money and I'm going to get it to you. I was like, ah, mom, don't even trip. You can't never pay me back. I just like to say that and put that in there because that changed the, the, the dichotomy of me and my mama. Me and my mama was like this until she took too many racks out the account. Now, what happened when she took them racks out the account? I was dealing with a little funky ass bitch that I just met online. You feel me? In the pen. You feel me? And I had her move 100K out my mama account into her account. You feel me? Make a long story short, nigga, the bitch ran off when I tried to leave her with my money and started this j company called um, Smart Choice Re Remodeling. Adrian Sandino, yeah. So all them little niggas, the little star niggas, when they was getting they start, you feel me? That's how I know them little niggas. Man, I was running operation, had my own spot, my own shit. So Tammy, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. And I never brought that shit around my family or nothing because unlike you, motherfucker, Hey man, they some they some they some uh law abiding, respectful citizens. Tammy don't want y'all to know my 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 black family act whiter than white. They that successful. So all this street stuff she on that gangster shit, it don't even they don't even cut it. This bitch a scam artist, man. She we don't even do that in our family. She a scumbag. We respect <laughs> degrees and educations and shit. Tammy been scamming her whole motherfucking life. You see what I'm saying? Tammy is on the motherfucking FBI watch list right now. Yeah, so I just want to point that shit out because that puts a whole lot of like perspective on what was going on. So me and my mom was tight. The first time we fell out was when I had to cut her water off when she took my little 10000 Now, my mom didn't really take my 10000 I'm like, I'm taking my 10000 for my son. But when you got little bitches, little hood rats, that nigga with, with they broke-ass baby daddies, and they only hustle is they mom, nigga, y'all start leaning on the bitch too hard, and she start, mom, I need 100 for this. Mom, I need you a $20, $30. You took $20, $30 me to that bitch. And you supposed to be my older sister, nigga, because you got that drug habit, nigga, and you got that motherfucking alcohol habit, bitch, and you on motherfucking general aid, bitch, from the state, nigga, getting vouchers and shit. 
nigga. I used to be around you. I used to watch you, nigga, figure out how to finesse mom and dad out a couple dollars for your rent because you was on Section 8 and didn't pay that shit. You really got evicted on Section 8, bitch. You ain't no respectable bitch. Right now, you go bankruptcy, bitch. That's your name, bitch. You bankrupt in 2004, bitch, and then you get on my page talking about, oh, it was to protect my nonprofit. Bitch, they know you a scam artist, bitch. You on SS, bitch, you on government aid, bitch. Nigga, food stamps. Nigga, you feel me? Uh, Section 8. And you got a non-profit? That's a dead giveaway right there. You was a scam artist. You change your name. Nigga, once you scam mama for her name, you take your name off of being her motherfucking related. Bitch, scammy Tammy, this book. Drop it, nigga. Only reason why it ain't dropped yet is because we keep getting new, new, new shit on you, bitch. You feel me? Bitch, you been a, you been a rotten egg, bitch. You, we would go to church and you go steal shit. Bitch, we go to church. <laughs> bitch, and you ain't nowhere to be found. Where tell me go? This bitch just you just came to church to go fuck with some niggas. Like, this bitch was a scumbag for real. And when you talk about that shit, nigga, with my mom, oh, you stole her car. Nigga, my mom bought me a car, bitch. My mom bought me some motherfucking furniture for a house I bought you, jealous ass bitch. You see what I'm saying? I quit fucking with my mama because she took my car back, nigga. You keep saying, oh, because you got into accidents. Well, bitch, I get in 10 accidents, bitch. If I'm paying my insurance and my car payment, this America, you don't tell a nigga car back. But okay, bitch, mom's took the car back, whatever, whatnot. I quit fucking with her. I walked away. Bitch, why you couldn't walk away if you hated mom so much and you, why you had to be in her shit? Why you had to keep coming back? That's why my mama dead, bitch. Because you was leeching off of this woman and you hated her, nigga. Go, go somewhere. You mad at what she did? Go somewhere, nigga. Go do your own thing. But you had to live off her, live under her, live next to her, beg her for shit. You needed babysitters. But the whole point of this video is, is I remember you showed me a picture of mom being mad at, um, your son's graduation because my all because you feel me bitch you didn't graduate bitch so mom was like damn nigga y'all when one of y'all gotta graduate or some shit so you know it was on nephew that nigga she treated her like me she treated nephew like me right because you was a punk bitch let's add that in the nigga came and moved with me too when we was opping nigga and he told me yo listen to y'all the lt and timmy they trying to kill you nigga he told me everything y'all said how y'all was hating on me said i was the ops all that shit nigga the plot against my mom to kill him he told me and moved in with me and i'm your ops bitch Checkmate. I don't know how you talking shit, nigga. Your son came to live with me and made a song talking about I'm a real nigga. Every time y'all hear that song, blood, that nigga made a song about me. Nigga, that nigga was crying about how his dad and mom left him on the porch his whole life and never treated him like shit. He come around his uncle, nigga, and feel like a real man. I got videos of turning this nigga up in Vegas. Nigga, the nigga point Dexter with some glasses. I said, bitch, if you got a, any nigga I fuck with, if you wear glasses, nigga, I'm gonna make you go get some Gucci, some, some motherfucking bus or something, bitch. We ain't finna be out here looking stupid. You ain't maybe I ain't looking stupid. Now that's my mom be on. Don't make us look stupid. I got that from my mom. Tell me you a raggedy punk bitch. Then you brought all her friends to her little funeral. Mom didn't like your friends because that's who what you was bringing around doing drugs in her house and shit. You always victimized mom, bitch. I was always in the streets minding my own business. So when me and my mom tapped in, nigga, we was like friends. That's how I knew everything. We was close. Mom told me the whole story about the graduation. How you tried to force her to pay for a big celebration at the graduation so she didn't want to come. And you run around with that, that, that picture of her frowning at, at, at nephew graduation because you was trying to bully her into paying for the nigga shit. But see, the one thing you don't understand is how my mama was. My mama and me was tight. You can't finesse her how you did. Nigga, me and my mom was rocking. So she was telling me blood was finna graduate. And she said, hey, what should I do for him? I said, Psh. Like me, like his uncle, buy the nigga a chain. Bitch, I've been in chains my whole life. I've been rocking big 10, 20, 30 thousand dollar chains my whole life with these big ass muscles. Like I scared, I dare you to take it from me. It just separates different as black men. I buy the nigga a chain. Nigga end up getting it snatched out there on some sucker shit. LT a sucker, you a sucker, bitch. What you think? But nigga, my mama bought him that chain. You didn't buy him that chain. So when you tried to have mom nigga do the party and all that, she was like, I ain't with it, nigga. I ain't got all that money for that. I just bought this nigga like nigga thousands of dollars of a ch gold chain. And you was mad and vehement and wanted to get her back because, bitch, you a broke bitch, nigga, depend on your mama, nigga. And that's a damn shame. I ain't never had to depend on my mama like that, nigga. You feel me? You tried to rob my mom thinking she was broke, but nigga, I already knew she was broke, nigga, because she spent all her money on me fighting them cases, bitch. You feel me? So, nigga, when my mom took that 10K from me, I wasn't really tripping like that, nigga, because I knew, nigga, that's what, nigga, hey, nigga, I, I gave up my motherfucking 401K, my retirement, to get my son home, nigga, from these motherfucking cases, and that's why you a jealous bitch, nigga.
Me and my mom really rock, nigga. You feel me? And every time you try, I tried to bring you around and be cool, you be like, why you fuck with this bitch? Nigga, nigga, my mom didn't. Nigga, <laughs> Tammy, you was a devil, bitch. <laughs>